TLO, what's poppin'? We are on kick. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. And yes, you heard me correctly. I have moved over to K-I-C-K instead of Twitch. If you follow me on Twitch, please, I know I'm asking for a lot apparently, but go make a kick, follow me on kick. The link is down below. It's very simple. Just click it and sign up. Uh, I only need 13 more people to be an affiliate on kick. So 13 of y'all that's watching this. Come on now. I don't be asking for a lot. <laughs> This is the channel where you could catch all the live highlights. Uh, we also got the Patreon, and we also got the Discord, which plays a big role in Kick now because you can't drop links in Kick as regular, like you know. Anyway, let's get into this. Police interceptors, season twenty-one, episode five. Let go. Nice. Skip the intro. Bradford. It's approaching midnight on Sunday. A good time to hit the hay ahead of the working week. Unless you're an interceptor. Why are we driving like this? Yeah. With bad guys to chase. We're currently doing what, 90 just down a little back straight in Bradford. Spenner and rookie Phoebe have just had a pair of speeding drivers fall into their collective lap. These two obviously race, so that's fine now. Let's see if either of them want to stop. Spenner lights the cars up. Oh, yeah. But neither driver looks like stopping. The blue Toyota hangs a right. Spiromeo 5 0. And Spenner follows. It's making off for me a little hot and lane. I'll go to interrupt. I'm not even going to lie. If I don't got no, no, no. Class A, Class B on me. I'm not going. I'm not running, or any type of weapon fire. I'm, I'm not running for what? Anything less than that, I can deal with. <laughs> I can deal with anything, honestly. In America, I, I ain't running. <laughs> Found to stop. Speed's five zero. Safe to continue requesting take back. It looks like the driver of the nippy Toyota hopes to shake off the cop's bulkier Beamer in the back streets. It's currently 4-0 miles now. We're on, we're on Park Lane, right, right onto Round Hill Street. Spenner's an advanced driver schooled in tactical pursuit and containment and going off-road. This guy won't lose him in a car. Nah, no, you're going to have to get out. We are just slightly off-road towards Manchester Road. Oh, quick. But he might lose him on foot. Spenner and Phoebe are out in a flash and hot on his heels. That's the sound of size nines set to full foot pursuit mode. <laughs> hey, don't talk about Phoebe like that. <laughs> the suspect's got a head start, and both cops are handicapped by 15 kilos of kit. Stop! But they've caught up. Dang, he just need him. That's tough. That can't be proper. He's struggling. Bro, you gotta get all the way down. <laughs> and he's making an unholy racket. But finally. He's nicked. Five zero, guy. Hi, get up. Where are you? I'll What's Miss Cups? Hi. Right. Right, go. Go on, then go. The Phoebe, trick. Phoebe look good. Now, 
Phoebe. I was trying to be professional about this reaction, but I can't even, you know what I'm saying? Back to the car proceeds in a rather more leisurely fashion, giving all concerned a chance to catch their breath. Yeah, but buddy wasn't getting away. Finally, the runaway suspect is safely in the back of a squad car. Thank you. Leaving Phoebe to check out his Toyota. <laughs> Scary no yeah. time for raving, PC Dawson. Let's turn that off. There's work to be done. Let's have a quick search of here. While the hatchback is meticulously searched, Spenner probes its driver. I see you know passing testing you got banned last time. Who it seems doesn't have a license. You haven't passed your test. No. There you go. You're banned, so you pass an extended test. <laughs> Following a previous ban, the driver must pass an extended test before being allowed back on the road. If you're banned, so you pass an extended test. That means you're banned. And he's not the only thing around here that's banned. Ah. Phoebe's found something suspect in the centre console. What is it, Phoebe? Got a knuckle duster. With, well, it's like a multi weapon there. Just in the central compartment. The weapon is a vicious knuckle duster that fits over the fist. And if that wasn't enough, it also features a razor sharp blade. I'm still. Knuckle duster with something in it, a blade in it. It's what? Knuckle some kind of... I still be shocked that y'all are not allowed to defend yourself in any type of way against criminals. Like, law-abiding citizens cannot defend themselves against criminals in the UK. Inter the criminals don't care about laws. They're going to get weapons regardless. So how did the, the average citizen defend themselves? That should be shocking to me. Thing. A horrific and illegal weapon. Suspensive weapon. Mm, okay. Forces across the country are coming down hard on knife crime. If they tie this weapon to the driver, he could be in even deeper trouble. So like y'all, there's a lot of creeps in the UK. Like like there's a lot of creeps everywhere, but like women can't carry mace or anything. Like that's wild to me. <laughs> well, let me quickly tell you, you have to say anything. May I be defense, you don't mention one question. Someone could be like in court, anything you do say, maybe in evidence. So you're under arrest for dangerous driving and for possession of an offensive weapon. Do you understand all that, yeah? All right. Catching criminals can be a slow and painstaking process, but occasionally it all falls into place. Sometimes you feel like it should be a bit harder than it is, though. I, I kind of wish they'd make it a bit more difficult for us. <laughs> all learn to drive a bit better. It may not have been difficult, but it was dangerous. Yeah, I've got, I've got a hurt finger. It, it hurts more now. Look how, look how swollen it is. Right, go on then. Excuse me. He's been banned once for, for taking a chase in the past. He's driven, he's driven whilst he's qualified before. He's been to prison for that. He knows the score. Uh, he's going to end up getting reported for the same offences. So he's going to get caught for dangerous driving. And I imagine he'll probably end up going back to prison for that. Yeah, probably. So he's going to pay the price again. He's going to learn the hard way massively. It's been a good night's work. One suspected dangerous driver and one extremely dangerous weapon off the streets. I don't have one of these in my car. The knucklehead who tried to outrun Chris and Phoebe was charged and summoned to court for dangerous driving, driving whilst disqualified, driving without insurance, and failing to stop. No further action was taken regarding the weapon found in the car. Coming up. Pointing guns at people, it's, you don't get much more serious. Oh, Taking yeah, that's... No chances at the That's a serious one. Hey, whoever uploaded this must watch my videos. They skipped through all the uh the little middle pieces. 
Only thing they forgot was up, upcoming or next one. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired. Each time they step out of the nick and into a patrol car, the interceptors have no idea what's in store. Some shifts pass without incident. Others kick off from the get-go. Friday night, we just come on duty more or less, pretty much straight out the door. We've been deployed on a firearms deployment in the Halifax area. Take away delivery drivers, contacted us, saying they've been approached by a suspect armed with a handgun. Pointing guns at people, it's, it don't get much more serious. And the thing is, it's probably not even a real gun. Armed response vehicles are already on their way to the scene. There's a couple of ARVs making their way. Um, to secure him and see if we can identify all these suspects is and where they've gone. And they have a lead on the suspect. The actual takeaway that the delivery driver works for, they've also phoned up saying that the suspects just walked past the takeaway shop. Behind the wheel tonight, dog handler Steve Huntingdon. As an experienced ex-firearms officer, Steve has seen his fair share of weapons. He's also partial to a slice of pizza. Yeah, go. Not to take away, it? But he's hoping to take away something else tonight. White male, approximately 18 years, about five foot five tall, skinny build, was wearing a black raincoat with a hood up, black trousers with white stripes down the side. It's a pretty comprehensive dis description. Description. Oh, okay, yeah. This guy. W. Action stations. Local cops have also spotted the suspect. Hands out, hands out. Down, down, down. Put your hands down, lay on the floor. Steve brings out. He's got to be drunk. Like, why would you stay around? Police dog Macy in support. <laughs> Who doesn't like the look of the lad? <laughs> But he's soon in cuffs and on his feet. Allegation. Listen, just on that for all Listen, an allegation of being a robbery, all right? I've been a robber, and you spread your legs. Spread your legs. What are you going to do? Take the dog well, away. Your inside leg. Spread your legs, right? Firearm, search him. No gun. Of course not. But they do find ammunition. For a BB gun. The kind used in a BB gun. What a girl. BB guns fire metal bulbs using compressed air or electrical charge. Many look just like a real gun, and aiming one at a pizza delivery driver is a major crime, however you slice it. It's indicated where this, this firearm is. Bro almost got a full beard aiming BB guns at pizza delivery drivers. Like, dude, bro's just trying to do his job. So we're just going to do a search now. See if we can uh, locate and uh, seize his firearm. The suspect has admitted hiding the gun behind some nearby flats. Well, he's given us a good idea as to where it is. Yeah, so. I'll come up with yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, I'll go in with dog here. Yeah. Probably do a search with Mercy, see if we can find it. What was the point of hiding it? The weapon is vital time. evidence. Stay. Luckily, Macy has two settings terrify or search. It's in, find it. Oh, find it then. They can find BB guns too, the Listen, dogs? Yeah, find it. It's in, here. Yeah. It's in, find it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. There's no sign of the gun. It is quite overgrown. A lot of brambles and stuff. Which uh, just making it a bit difficult for Mercy to try and find it. Without the weapon, it'll be a lot harder to make a case. It's not finding. Yeah, okay, that's it. Find it, okay, find it. And is it there? 
Finally. <laughs> Got it. I'm just going to have Ace to come and uh, prove it. Them dogs are like super powered dogs. Like, that's crazy. Sniffing out a BB gun is wild. That's right. They spot the handgun, which matches the description of the weapon pointed at the delivery driver. I went, we described it, described it as a black handgun. Suspect saying it's a BB gun, but you can't take their word for it. We, you know, we'll just wait for a fire armed car to come and um, prove it and tell us what it is. The weapon looks indistinguishable from the police issue Glock. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. That one looks just like a Glock. Mantle it and confirm it is a BB gun. It even got the markings on it and everything. I'm like, what the heck? Though no one facing it in the dark could know that. It's a gas. Wow. Bruh. Look at this. This is crazy. It even got the this, 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 uh, metal plate underneath. The the railing. I mean, the grip. This is, this, yeah, this is right here. This is wild. It's powered all bad and gone. Um, but they are designed to look real. And, you know, I look super real. You, you can't get much more realistic than, than something like that. And this time and out when stuff like that's pointed at you. Um, you, you don't expect it to be a real thing. The man arrested with a pocket of BB gun pellets pleaded guilty to possession of an imitation firearm with intent to cause fear of violence. He received eight months imprisonment, suspended for 12 months, was fined 140 pounds, and was ordered to do 100 hours unpaid community work. Long shifts are hungry work. My, my pat lunch is in there and all. What you got? Crisps and rice. It's not a meal. Like well, a snack. Bits of crisps and Pringles. It's a full tube. And interceptors all have their own favourite fuel. Can I take your order, please? But tonight, yeah. Charlie and Wayne plan to nab more than burgers by the drive through Someone's rocked up at McDonald's and ordered a meal. And um, staff think he might smell of alcohol. We're just waiting for them to confirm what vehicle details are. Man, you can't even pull up to McDonald's on some late night drunk sh and order something. But honestly, if you pull up to the drive thru and, and the employees can smell liquor, you really, you're really you drunk drunk. You overdid it. Drive through staff say the driver's in a dark blue Hyundai. Yeah, Kekka 17, Juliet Uniform, Victor, a white uh, BMW. Hey. He said it with a Hyundai. Hyundai. Can I just confirm this vehicle that we're looking at? It's uh, a white BMW at McDonald's. Oh. It's a dark and die, um, but that BRM comes to back to white BMW. So I, I'll give her a ring back uh, and uh, see what, what the true oh, BRM is. <laughs> yeah, if you can, please, just to make sure she's not got it wrong. A quick call, and the witness gives a new registration. The correct the owner is Yankee Echo 17. Said it was a Hyundai. Uh, just uh, running it through now. Romeo 64, I've just done it. It comes back to a red Sea at Leon, does Yankee Echo 17. So, they're looking Ooh, for a suspected up. drink driver. Leaving the drive through in either a white BMW, a blue Hyundai, or a red Seat. <laughs> the possible three cars that we're looking at. <laughs> yeah, I'll give her a ring back. Uh, it wasn't the best of lines, but uh, I'll ring her back. That's a Hyundai. Is that it? One seven what? Sometimes you don't need a registration. Is that it? That's it, I think. Just instinct. Romeo six foot. We think it's just past us. A few in it as well. A couple in it. The Hyundai's really motoring. It's, got, it's not even inside. No. So it's tow down, maximum warp. Has it gone right there? So much has gone. Have a look left, Charlie, as well. In over two decades on the force, Carl Charlie Farley has seen it all. Who? But he's struggling to spot the Hyundai. Oh, it's not there. It's down there, it's down there. Punch it, Wayne. 
back in the day, Wayne dreamt of being in Miami Vice. But who needs Crockett and Tubbs when you've got Farley and Hutchison? Well, Wesker End, um, he's disappeared, so he's either got his toe down to get out of the way or up there. died off. In fact, I think it's Aubrey Road now, just coming up behind it. They're back on its tail. Aubrey Road, didn't Drake rap about that? Tail. 64XW, we are behind it now, Aubrey Road, just lying it up now. The universal language of blue light brings it to a stop. How much you want to bet that the cops say you try to run from us? But the interceptors aren't sure this is the suspect from the drive-thru. He's going kind of fast. Hey, up. Right, mate. How you doing? Is it your motor? No, mate. In there, have you got a second? Really? Though the burger in his hand is a pretty good clue. Oh, you don't need that. Just leave that there for now. Oh, burger? Yeah. Is that you? Not in our car, you can't, huh? Just leave it here for now. Just jump in back. He still took it. It's a race to finish his burger before he reaches the beamer. Good not to win it. Oh, there's littering. Where have you just come from? My dogs. Right. What time were your last alcoholic drink? Um. Bearing in mind, I can see a bottle part, partly drunk in your door. Have I stopped you before? In a BMW, yeah. Were you disqualified? No, you never insurance though for it, did you? At that time though. About to be disqualified now. <clears throat> no. Have you got any insurance for this one? No, yeah. Oh no, it's all sorts of covering out for that. He's admitted to no insurance, but that's not his only worry. No, get locked up for drink driving. Well, don't know yet. It might not be over. Are you ready? Go. Oh. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Near that lovely. Pull that chill. That burger might have saved well, you. That's yours. Sit back. It's an uneventful wait for the inevitable. Yeah. Yeah. So. At this time, at the moment, you're under arrest on suspicion of driving whilst over the prescribed alcohol limit. I know you do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which will later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Well, yeah. Uh, 58. Well, that's not much over, is it? Legal limit's 35. Now, there's the issue of his passenger. Oh, 23. You got a phone, haven't you? Yeah, but I'm no credit. You what? I'm no credit at all. Look, my age. Gift How much money you got? Ten, that's it, to get home. Well, you get walking that way, mate. I'm sure there'll be, there'll be taxi and anchor. Maybe one will come past you. <laughs> Left his mate stranded. His mate's got to uh, go try and find a taxi now. In fact, he's trying to flag that, that one down there. Look to my mate there. The driver's taxi has blue lights and is bound for the nick. I'm nicked. Our colleagues are going to kind of take him down to the police station now and put him on evidential breathalyzer and see what he blows on that. Charlie and Wayne follow the Burger King back to the custody suite. He's the sort of person, though, that, that's not bothered. Man, shout out to the first responders, man. I don't, I never forget, man. I know y'all hitting that like button. If you're a first responder and you haven't followed me on kick, please do so, man. I need you. You know, like we've seen, he's got a provisional license, so he hasn't even passed the driving test. He's got no insurance, so if he bumps into you, you know, You've a load of problems there regarding claiming. He's drinking and he's, he's drink driving and he's got a part bottle of Stella in his in his door pocket. It's uh, an accident waiting to happen, isn't it? He just don't care. At the station. Right, deep breath and blow. No, you're sucking. A painful stab at bamboozling the breathalyzer. You cannot cheat the machine. Is a total waste of time. Can't cheat the machine. Blow. Keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing. Stop, stop. Post it to see. He doesn't look worried. You're feeling positive. <laughs> and after two minutes of abstract dance, the results are in. His lowest reading, because we take the lower of the two, his lowest was 48. Uh, legal limit's 35. Dang, he so, just uh, missed it. Yeah, but you'll be charged with those three offences to appear in court in the next couple of weeks.
The boozer's Big Mac was definitely not a happy meal. He was found guilty of drink driving, driving without a license and driving without insurance. He was fined a total of £290 and disqualified for 16 months. So, he won't be driving a car for a long time, whatever its colour. It's a wonder we got it, innit? Because it was passed as a blue car, a white car, a red car, and it's grey. <laughs> Come on, who that? Coming up, I need to pick. Leads to a game outside. No. In the locker, on your marks. I would run it. I've got friends between. That's a lot. That was a long coming up. It's mid afternoon, and Ben Pearson is on the hunt for a carload of burglars. Oh, Ben! I know him. We're currently looking for a car that's uh, been involved with a burglary yesterday. Um, and it's just done a burglary about an hour ago where entries being gained into the house and complainants have seen the vehicle and taken pictures of the vehicle there and the suspects. Now it's just a matter of finding the motor. It's lasted cameras are coming in towards the city and being seen where we are now. Um, but then it's ducked out of sight, so we're just trying to find the vehicle now and locate it. The target is a dark blue Honda Civic, which has entered the area and vanished. It's not in any more cameras. It's not had any more sightings on roads. Ben's a closet take that van. Mercifully, CDs are banned in the Beamer, so Benny Boy can clearly hear his wingman, Warren Pickard. YV51 Civic just gone past it. Who spotted it? Hey, traffic? We have just gone past it. It's into the pub car park. No time for chicken in a basket. Oh, it's there, it's going. Good eyes, Warren. You said it, Warren. It's there. The Honda stationery, but its occupants... Gone. Definitely not. Driver's gone. They're doing a runner. Chasing on foot from YB61, Thornton Road. While Warren goes after them on foot, Ben gives chase in the car. But it's a dead end. He gets out, only to be passed by Warren in full Forrest Gump mode. <laughs> bring the car out, bring the car out. They're running up to Bullroy, they're running up to Bullroy. Ben may be in reverse, but Warren's unstoppable going forwards. Which way are we going? Left. Single. Wazza's a die-hard Everton supporter. He's also a fan of Robocop and, coincidentally, he's a running machine. Clearly. But sprinting with 15 kilos of stab vest and kit on your person isn't for the faint-hearted. I feel like that'd be the only difference between some of these criminals running and the police. The police is just in shape. Hey, I'm done. And even with his impressive second wind, Energizer Wazza can't go on forever. And they actually got away? But he's not giving up. Let me jump in, catch that lad up. Taking a leaf out of Mel Gibson's book, Wazza's commandeered a car. Keep going, you'll see him backtrack to it's pure lethal weapon. Just got child locks on. Yeah. 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 They've yeah. caught up. Yeah. Stop, he's there. He's there. Go on, go. Yes, sir. Go on, fly. Thank you. No, don't want to go. The runner's <laughs> gone off. <laughs> hey, whoever's car he jumped in, I can imagine them going home and telling the story. That's crazy. Uh, but I would never. Girl, it's a football pitch. He's running across that. They would have, hey, let me in, police. Hey, hey, I would have. <laughs> Kept driving them. And heading back towards this there. No. Then loops round to the other side of the estate and guides more units in. Yeah, bull ride estate, mate. Go towards Sunningdale. I am a law abiding citizen, you too, but I'm just not participating in it. <laughs> While Warren oh. gets his third wind. Just fancy the job. I ain't gonna lie, they running hard. But despite a Herculean effort, they go. They've lost him. They got away. Five three oh nine last sighting outside Queen's Hotel. 
Go on, Timrod. Is he there? Like Queen's Hotel, Did they fully get away, though? The one I've chased, baseball cap in black. Black full tracksuit. Runs like Mo Farah. With added a <laughs> Must be nice being 20 year old and no gear to carry. <laughs> More units flood the area. Last saw him heading towards this bit here. Who was it? White Lab? White Kid, yeah, he might have long blonde hair as well. And Warren thinks he recognised the runner. Oh, in with Mummy. Rage, I'll tell you his name, he's on his wall in the office. The search goes on. Seen a kid in a tracksuit running. They're looking for a thin white male. Ooh, if they were in Liverpool, so, nope, I don't think anybody would have gave them a ride. You couldn't ask the community about it or nothing. What do you look like? Asian lad, fat. Oh no, three white skinny kids. The runaways day will come, but it's not today. Oh. And they got away. Where have you come from? <laughs> However, it's not been an entirely fruitless afternoon. How many phones in that? There's loads of phones, so, so, iPads. iPads, laptops. Check it out. The abandoned Honda is a treasure oh, trove yeah, of stolen tech crazy. and burglar's tools. Well, good spot, mate. Yeah, cheers. They want to search the air. Well, at least they get to return whoever's, you know, goods back. Area in case the suspects threw anything away, which calls for some traffic management. Come on, move back. I need to search under the car. Move back. Is it move or back you're struggling with? Move back. Paul, we've got a bit of a scene here. Can you move for us, Thank please? Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Right. You Ciao. just wanted some respect or something? Like, what? See if they've dropped out else. A thorough search reveals nothing more of interest, but they do have a bonanza of stolen gear. Yeah. We've got the car, and more importantly for the people that have been affected by the burglaries, etc., we've got most of, well, what we possibly believe most of their property back. Uh, so that's good for them. It's good for us because we've got the car. Um, none of them were wearing gloves when they've exited the vehicle. Therefore, forensics is a, a massive possibility for us. As soon as we can get a forensic link from anything in that... Yeah, but they got to have priors. ...a car, that's going to be a suspect straight away. So, plus, when I pull behind them, I've probably got three of them on tape. I think I, I know who I was chasing. Um, so, if forensics come back on him, and I can say it was him before we any, have any forensic links... Magic, magic, we'll get somebody for this. That's crazy. They didn't got away. The Civic turned out. I think this is the first time I've seen somebody outrun the police. Out to be a pool car, an uninsured vehicle shared between criminals. It was seized and is being examined by forensic investigators, after which it will be crushed. The stolen property was returned to its rightful owners. As for Wazza, he got a taste for running, which continued right until the end of the shift. <laughs> Hey. Three, two, one. Tell us to go. We're having a race. He's on a mission to return a discarded shopping trolley. So you what? You handle that better than you do BMW. They're going beyond, beyond, above and beyond the call of <laughs> policing right now. Kind of people we've got to work with. Isn't it? Can you imagine if every cop in Miami tried to return a shopping cart to back to the store? That's all they would do all day, because this shopping cart is just littered everywhere out here. Yeah, I'm going to link it to them others. Right. Oh, my God, look how far away the store is. Run, Forrest, run. You better run for it. Coppers love a road safety slogan. Drive faster, court disaster. High performance car, low performance driver. If it's a rover, pull it over. Pure police poetry. Flagged what up. happened to Phoebe? No insurance. This is Seacross. Oh, we'll go and see what he's got. It's a dark night on South Parkway, and Sophie and Chris have pulled over a rover that's showing as uninsured. Hello there. Hello. Hello. Is it your car? Yes. Have you? Is it insured to you? Pardon? Is it insured to you? Insured. In insurance. Yeah. Is it, do you just want to come and take a seat in our car? Have you got? Um, any details of your insurance? Can you just check as a car? 
Interceptors have access to the Motor Insurance Bureau database. You just want to go around just to that side for me. Thank you. Which lists all insured cars. This guy's Rover isn't on it. He knew it wasn't on there. Hello, how are you? I'm all right. Who are you insured with? Yeah. I've got that yet. The driver says his insurance details are on his phone. What's your insurance? Oh. This is a quote. This is not your insurance. <laughs> so they've sent you a quote and you had to accept that quote and start the payments, but it doesn't look like you have done. I don't know where's the problem. What? And I well, it's showing myself. no insurance. The problem is... I checked myself in, uh, after two weeks. The car was insured. The problem is, is it's not showing insured at this moment in time. OK? It's not fair. It's not legal. Right. They're going to ring me back Monday and they're going to email me. And if you're not insured, then you'll be getting reported for driving without insurance. Yeah, no, that you can you can take any action you want, but they, well, want, will they, do. they need to tell me why you're not answering. Well, because you haven't read instructions properly. They need to notify me that I'm not answering. Well, they or are. Or something wrong, but they didn't say anything. They've sent you an email. But I, I didn't read any email. That, that proved that um, um, something wrong. That proved that you haven't done something right. No, but I got my email here. Yeah, no, exactly, and we've just read it. Pardon? And we've just read it. No. It doesn't have an insurance certificate with it, does it? No, but no, it's not my fault if it did. Well, but it is in, because anyway, you haven't read your email wrong, properly. It's not. Yo, bro, you you don't have insurance. <laughs> the hard. You ain't. You know you ain't paid nothing, so you don't have insurance. Just email to understand. It says right there. If you don't sign it, we'll cancel it. Read it there. Right, what's going to happen now? I'm going to report you for offence driving without insurance. No. Then we're going to seize your car. No, 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 no. Yes, yes. No. Yes, 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 we are. Why? Because, because we haven't got insurance for the vehicle. We haven't got any documentation to say that you're insured no, to drive this vehicle. No, but no. They, they didn't notify me anything about that. Well, they have. They have. have that's there. an email saying to you. No, but the, uh, you, do you know when the email came in? Do you know the email is in? The 26th of August. Since, and, since the 26th of August, have you had any further emails? The man returns to his phone and Sophie spots a further email from his insurer. That's about your car, so why don't you show me that one? It is, I can see that it's got the registration right. of your car on it. Right, you're not showing insured. Wait, wait. Why are you wanting to add emails from us? He reluctantly hands back the handset. Dear Mr. Cancellation, your policy will be cancelled on the following date, 30th of August, 2018. 31st. 30th of August, 2018. Three weeks ago. Letter of cancellation of the policy. Yeah, it's over with, buddy. You're caught. Why don't you just sign up for insurance real quick? That should be the last word. Can you jack us up recovery on the South Parkway in Seacroft? But he's not giving up. No, I don't want my car to go anywhere. Well, your car's coming with us. No, no, because if, yes. if, it, if it we call them Monday, no, that shows that it's been cancelled. The car is not currently insured. Yeah, but the... there is no bus. If you are uninsured, we will take the car. The car is not showing insurance. We cannot let you drive away from here. No, no, no. Because if you were no. to have an accident, you're not insured. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not saying I want to drive in the car, but the car can't stay there. I don't want no, it can't. It's going to be coming with us. No, but I'm not sure about that. But as the police... Sir, you're not in control of this. It's over. Police, we cannot allow vehicles to be uninsured on the road. Therefore, no, no, we, no, we no, will... you're right. Yes. No, I know. It's a nice he car. It's decent. But he's not happy. Are you paying money? Can I have your car key, please? No, listen, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not giving the key, but what I want to... Well, you are going to give the key, because I'm going to take Pardon? it off. I yeah. need to take the key. No, no, yeah, yeah, can I give the key, but, you know... Listen to me. You have a responsibility to read your documentation and insure your vehicle. OK, so... I, I, irrelevant I, I, what you're telling me, anything else, irrelevant, because the car is not shown insured. The problem and is I, No, I'm talking. No, no you, listen. No, I want to, I want, you must listen to me, because I'm not, I'm not young. I'm not stupid. I, and I, neither yeah, am I. And, uh, and uh, no, I'm not, no, no, I'm not stupid. Something's got to give, and it won't be Sophie. We're not going to agree on this one. Unfortunately for you, your car's not shown insured, which means that we are taking it. I know, I know. Period. OK, Alan. Your car is going to be seized, and I'll give you a notice which explains how you get your car back. Okay? 
I'm still looking at this phone. Don't you hate awkward silences? Alan? Hey, Alan! Somebody say something. Do you want to get your stuff out of the car? Hallelujah. Motor insurance isn't the only thing that slipped the driver's mind. He's also forgotten... Never covered the... Is it this locker? God. ...that Sophie's got his key. He obviously doesn't want us to take his car, which is understandable. People don't want us to take the cars, but if we weren't to take the car, and like I said, if he was to drive in it, come back for it, have a collision, uh, he won't be insured. And you know, as the police, we can't we can't be allowing people to drive on our roads without without insurance. The long walk. The driver who wouldn't take no insurance for an answer was issued a traffic offence report. Let's hope he remembers to check his post. Bro thought he had free insurance. Negative, buddy. Coming up. They are off and running, off and running. Crime fighting has never been more high tech. You can probably see our nights on. I've lit these two up. And interceptors make use of everything from mobile fingerprint scanners and electric shock weapons. That's easier. To automatic number plate recognition cameras. When I joined, there wasn't AMPR and cameras. Obviously, AMPR now helps massively, uh, but I think um, it, it can't take away from that suspicion and that Bobby's nose and that spider sense of a car not being right in front. With all my paperwork, tingling. If all my paperwork is right, leave me alone. This afternoon on the streets of Eastbrook. Let's go in. This Audi is giving off all the wrong vibes. Interceptor Chris Spencer lights it up. X-ray Romeo seven four. Blues and twos have no impact, and the Audi rolls on. Do my lefts. Yeah, my lefts. Bravo, Juliet 10. It's Edda Thorpe Street. Can I have to stop? Can I request tea oh. already, please? Spenner has been both a construction worker and a cop, which means he's halfway to being the village people. <laughs> Speeds 3 0. Traffic is light, it's safe to continue. And his spider sense is about to deliver a second premonition. Audi A3, he's going to decap here, get ready. Two men flee the Audi, which rolls into the cop car, which also rolls into the curb. Wait, so nobody put the parking brake on? Not even the cops? Ouch. The old spider sense didn't predict that. Yeah, he's, uh, he's abandoned it. In doing so, though, he's unfortunately run into my car. After securing his car, Spenner heads out to help his partner comb the area. Is my mate just run down here? But after a lot of running... Last thing left. ...and a lot of searching... Uh, ...they draw a blank. Hey, two people got away? Spenner may well carp a little flack from his colleagues for this one. <sighs> oh, Richard, Spenner, can you talk? <clears throat> you got me the car. Yep, sorry. He rolled back into me, so it's kind of not my fault. Right. <laughs> it's not been the best morning. Did you get him, officer? And a growing crowd hey. isn't helping. Run your car, officer. It's the kind of things you're up against. Yeah. With a thousand quid's worth of damage there. These guys think it's funny. It just really, really grips. It grates on me. But these guys think this is good. Interceptors are charged with protecting the public. But sometimes that's a thankless task. He jumped out of a moving car and then he just left it to roll into me. Yeah, it's my car, it's a cop car, does anyone really care? If it was, it's someone else's car, if it's someone's kid, though, and just as these seem to think that this is funny, yeah, hey, look at this, haha. -ha. 
It ain't funny, is it? He's tight. <laughs> he is mad. Go, go do, go do some Snapchatting, mate. The hasty decamp suggests Spenner's instincts were right, and the contents of the footwell reinforces his suspicions. Mm. Anybody think that these guys are out drug dealing? That they managed to snap the phones even before they've jumped out of it. Mobiles can hold valuable evidence. It's not uncommon for criminals to snap the screens to cover their tracks. Oh, yeah, they You'll get up out of there. Cock up view of this guy's face when he's got out of the car anyway. But Spenner has other screens at his disposal. Man, yeah, y'all got 30 seconds left. Oh, yeah. Painful as it might be to relive bump one, which knocks the Beamer out of park. It were in park. I, mean, I don't know. Clearly wasn't in park. Man. How he's done that, because it's in park. Bump two. And bump three. It was worth it. He's on camera, so hopefully we'll find out who this kid is. And it, 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 his day will come now. I'll show her that. Oh. I think that's the end of that one, man. I think they ended this one early, man. Y'all gotta finish the whole episodes, man. Tell y'all leave a like, comment, I'm gone.